Good morning, this is Ryan Schofield and welcome to this Trading in the Success Zone video brought to you by ETX Capital as part of the ETX Capital Traders Workshop. Today we are talking trends. We're talking about trading the flow of the market. That's what a trend is folks, finding where the market is flowing towards and going with it. It's the lowest stress and the highest probability or highest reward type of trading as opposed to counter trend trading where you're trying to pick a top or pick a bottom which is tantamount to catching a falling knife or standing in front of a, uh, a raging bull. You don't want to do that. It's, it's stressful and it, and it is not conducive to overall profit growth. Uh, it, it's better to trade with trends. It's better to find that flow. So. Where, we, where, where, where are these flows at the moment? Well, Swiss franc. Okay, the Swiss franc has been showing some resilience and some strength in the markets of late in the last week or so. And we, they've been giving us some fantastic opportunities. Okay, now I've started looking at the US dollar Swiss franc here. This is the weekly chart. Now, when we're talking about trends, well, hey, hang on, we were in a consolidation range here. We're consolidating beneath two, two, two important numbers. We've got parity in the top and this major level down here that you've bounced off for the last, uh, in the last three months. Okay, well, so this is not a great place for us to start then, is it? If I'm saying let's trade trends. But what I'm also trying to say is draw a line underneath finding the best trends, okay? Finding the best trends. Now looking at the daily chart, we can see we're making lower lows and lower highs now. This is starting to show signs of trending. If you didn't use these um, higher time frames, you'd be seeing, wow, this trend, this trend is looking fantastic. I might be looking to get short around here. We've got to tie in as many time frames as we can, folks. We've got to make sure we're trading with as much confirmation as possible. Okay, because this 240 minute chart is looking pretty good to the downside. However, you can see this line that I drew in was that weekly and daily support area, which we're coming straight into. Okay, we're coming straight into it. So, no, that's not a fantastic one to be joining right now. Okay. But where, where are the, the opportunities then? Well, let's look at a couple. Okay, let's look at a couple at the moment. Euro Swiss franc. Okay. Let's go up to a daily chart. Well, looks like we're coming back into uh, uh, some, some prior support areas as well. Okay, let's look at the weekly chart. Well, oh, actually so makes, makes us think that, well, we, we, we've extended from the moving averages, we're putting back into a prior level. One touch is not enough for good support. We are in a downtrend, making lower lows and lower highs here, so you would anticipate breaking. However, we are quite extended from these moving averages, so a temporary pause here, a little pullback for the moving averages, may actually be a, a, a healthy thing, something that we would like to see. Okay, so we are looking to time it, and this is not a trade I'd be looking to short right now because of the fact that we're coming in to this 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 area here where we are extended from the moving averages. I'm looking to short around the moving averages. Okay, so Euro Swiss franc, it's looking positive. There are there are some trends in the most recent area, but not conducive to a trade just yet. Pound Swiss franc. Now this is quite interesting. We've actually on the weekly chart we've we've got a level which is quite a critical level actually. You can see how we've pulled back into this level three times now, through there, there, and we add it right now. Okay, we add it right now on this weekly chart. This is looking pretty good to a break. You can see how we've consolidated down to this flat level, um, and it shows signs that we may just smash through this. Okay, if you were to short the, the break of this flat level, stop above these highs, 120 pips worth of risk, um, on your, your ETX Capital's platform, 50 pair points, so a, a minimum of 50 quid worth of risk if you, if you were to take a trade like this. Okay, so there is, there is opportunity right now in, the, in this market. Okay, this is a daily swing type trade. However, I'd, also, I'd be waiting to see what happens here. I'd like to see it break and maybe pull back in and then look for some shorting opportunities because the moving average is all caught up. Okay, however, there is a potential for a continuation on this uh, on this market. So pound Swiss is looking okay in my watch list for potential short opportunity. Okay, CAD Swiss. Okay, on this uh, weekly chart, we are making lower lows and lower highs, uh, but we are coming back into a major support level. So quite right now. I've got it in my watch list for potential. I'm not doing anything just yet, okay? Because we we, we're hovering above support. We're extended from the moving averages. So we're in a no man's land as far as shorting is concerned, okay? How about New Zealand Swiss franc? Same thing. We're coming back down into this, this daily support area right here. We're extended from the moving averages. So I'm, I'm, I'm holding out, not looking for anything just yet. Australian Swiss franc. Okay, this is a little bit better. You can see on this uh, daily chart how we have got some... Uh, we have got some support areas through here, okay? We just started to break through it already. Now, if I put it onto the weekly chart, this will start to stand out a little bit more and you'll be able to see it more clearly. This, this line that I've drew, drawn here, how good support and resistance it actually is over the past, uh, past year or so, a few years or so actually. 
So we've actually started to show signs of breaking through it. Now, this is actually where you really want to start joining trends is where um, they are just showing signs of, of forming, okay? Let me zoom in rather than zoom out. So this is not looking too bad. This is seriously in my watch list for potential uh, uh, short, short plays, okay? So where are the opportunities been then, okay? That I've been talking about. Where are these trends? Well, the best one has been between this, the, the Swiss franc and the Japanese yen. Look at this daily chart. We've had a massive move. We've broken through the prior daily resistance areas. We started to really show signs of trending up. It's very extended from those moving averages. So right now, I'm not looking to buy just yet. I'm waiting to see some kind of a pullback. Okay, I'm waiting to see some kind of a pullback into the rising moving averages before the next move occurs. Okay, we've already had a very good trade here on the trade with precision. We uh, we had an alert to buy the breakout of this level here. Okay, so the traders have already had a, a, a 200 pip move out of that trade. Now we, we, we're resetting and we're waiting now for other opportunities to set up. Let's look at the lower time frames now. So the 240 minute chart, you can see this type of trend. Okay, let me remove those daily arrows that I had. You can see this type of trend that we've got forming. Every time we pull back into the moving averages, the next move up. Pull back towards the moving averages, next move up. Okay, so we are extended on this 240 minute chart. However, I'm waiting now. I'm, I've got this in my watch list. Now, I have definitely want to find opportunities to potentially look to trade this to the upside. It is extended, okay? So I'm watching, I'm waiting, I'm patient, looking for my opportunity. Let's look on a lower time frame, 60 minute chart. This is starting to show you the signs. We're pulling back into the moving averages, bang, before the next move higher, okay? So bear that in mind, folks. We need to trade flow. Find the markets where we've got as many trending time frames as possible, such as the Swiss yen, Swiss, Swiss franc Japanese yen. I keep on saying it. It's a bit of a mouthful, isn't it? But that's where the opportunities lie. I would definitely be looking to take this as a, as a swing trade because there is a little bit of a spread on this. So why not uh, trade it as more of a swing trade where that spread is, becomes less of, less of a factor? In other words, if you're getting a 200 pip run, you know, a, 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 the spread becomes a, a small little smidge in the grand scheme of things. So the question you have to ask yourself now is how are you going to trade this market? Well, ETS Capital offer their clients access to all FX markets and a host of other asset classes. You can trade the Swiss franc Japanese yen for little as four pips. That's nothing in the grand scheme of things, okay? You've got to keep your costs down. So choose a spread rate company that offer you the tight to spreads. And at ETX Capital are very competitive in this market space. They also offer free education courses. They've brought in Trade with Precision, a third party independent educator provider. Okay, and we, we have built up an education offering. We do free seminars, come down to the city. Okay, you get to meet like minded people, two hour event where we do uh, snacks, tea, and coffee, and we do education, look at the markets, and that kind of thing. We also do live webinars. So if you don't feel like traveling, stay at home. Every Thursday night, we'll do, uh, we'll do a presentation, 45-minute presentation on the same type of content. So looking at the, the same asset classes. Fantastic value for money. It's free, folks. Advanced courses, if you are an ETS Capital client, you are welcome to join in uh, the education course. It gives you the information. Now, if you, for instance, um, Trade the Precision were founded in 2006. We've been doing these strategies that we've been trading for the last 10 or so years, okay? We have created this package, which is, is fantastic value, and now we're doing it for ETS Capital's clients for free. As long as you have an account, doesn't matter how much money is in your account, you get access to it. It's a month-long journey, so you, we will build each week builds on on, uh, on new principles, and by the end, you know our strategies and you can trade our strategies because we're also helping you with mentoring. So you send us your trades, we will analyze them in a classroom environment on a live webinar. Okay, so we're getting to learn from our past trades. That's only only available to ETS Capital clients now if you would like to become a client it's easy to sign up all you have to do is click online it takes three minutes to do so okay but just you just need to understand that spread betting does have a risk okay you got to understand those risks in other words um, do, do some research and just find out if this type of thing is suitable for you and for your trading okay Thank you, folks. I hope you enjoyed my video on trading flow and trading trends. There's been some fantastic ones out there um, of late. So look for them, trade them, and keep yourself in that opportunity flow. Thanks, folks, and I hope you have a very good day. Bye.